So in order for us to have deeply connected, heart connected and heart to heart connected sexual experiences, we need to be having our sex in a place of deep intimacy, intimacy, intimacy meaning absence of fear. So how do you create between you and your partner or partners this intimacy, this absence of fear? What kind of things can you be doing? Well, none of it's rocket science. We know that we need to be talking. We, need to, we know we need to be communicating. We know we need to be touching in order to maintain this, this, um, this experience of intimacy, keeping our sexual container, the sex we're having, keeping it in a safe place, a loving, safe, connected place. Now, what I'm going to suggest to you today is a really, really simple, it is so unbelievably simple, practice. And yet, I know I'm not what observing many people doing it. I think it's a really simple kind of to understand practice. It's one of those things that we resist and we avoid because it can also feel slightly uncomfortable. But this practice is so unbelievably good at connecting you. It's so deeply intimate. When you do it, oxytocin, the bonding hormone, is released in your bodies. So if you're going to, if you've got oxytocin flowing through your body, you are going to be bonding with that other person, that is going to be making you feel safe, that is intimacy, that is then the right way, that's the kind of, you're creating the condition to have beautiful sex, sex that feels safe to both of you. What's the practice? It's eye gazing and it's really, really very simple. Um, there's something you need to understand about eye gazing. If you gaze with someone with a harsh glare, with hawk eyes or um, foveal vision, and you're staring at someone hard, that's not comfortable, that's scary, that's shutting us down, that's fight or flight, that's the stare the teacher gives you, the mother gives you, nobody feels, feels comfortable with a hard stare. So what you need to do when you're doing eye gazing, it's kind of, it's in the words, gazing, you're not hard, you're not eye staring, you're eye gazing. A gaze is the doe eye, it's the soft eye. It's when you're looking at each other but becoming aware of your peripheral vision. So you become aware of everything around you, which softens your gaze, it softens your eyes. And as, you're, as you soften your eyes, the, your look, you're also softening the muscles in your face and you end up kind of going from a frown to a smile. You kind of can't help it. And when you're gazing, when you're gazing into each other's eyes with this soft, doe-eyed gaze, that's when the bonding happens. That's when you feel safe. The eyes are saying, you can trust me. You're safe with me. There's another beautiful aspect of eye gazing, and this is that every time we look into another person's eyes, they are different. Our eyes are constantly changing. So one of the ways you can keep, keep dopamine, the chemical in our bodies that rewards newness and novelty, the way you can keep dopamine alive in your relationship is through eye gazing. Because when you look at your partner's eyes, they are different. Dopamine is going to be stimulated by that because you're looking at difference. So you get oxytocin and you get dopamine. So you get the bonding and you get the variety. This is why eye gazing is so, so powerful and why I really, really, really massively implore you to use it more in your relationships. When I talk about having sex in the kitchen, this is what I mean. Eye gazing is a sex practice. You can do it in the kitchen, you can do it at the table, you can do it with your children in the room. Sex does not have to be something that only happens in the bedroom. That's not the only safe place. You make the area, the space between you safe. So this eye gazing, you do it in the pub. This is why we lo love meeting people in a crowded bar, right? It's the eyes. It's the eyes that keeps, gets us alive. So bring that into your relationship. Bring that into your long-term relationship. Keep that spark alive through this really simple practice, eye gazing. Now, the longer you can do it for, the more connected you're going to feel. You will find when you first do it that it's hard to maintain the gaze and it becomes like that test you used to do when you were younger, that, that look away kind of game. Don't make it into something testy and challenging and scary. Stay in that place of just wanting to be connected and see how long you can do it for. Start with three minutes and then extend it. Get it longer and longer and make time for it. Like make conscious time. Set aside three minutes a day for the first week. Is that that much to ask for? 
to keep your relationship spicy, vibrant, juicy, alive, connected, intimate? I don't think so. I don't think anybody's too busy to do three minutes of eye gazing a day. So that's my invitation to you. Start using your eyes as this really powerful tool for deep, sensual, sexy connection in your relationship. If you'd like to connect to learn more with me, if you find, I don't know, maybe maybe eye gazing right now for you is too much of a stretch, but you want intimacy with your partner, you wanna feel safe enough to be able to do eye gazing, connect with me, let's have a call, let's have a chat and work out what your next steps could be. Let's actually give you the advice you really need right now. Or other ways of staying connected are my newsletter, sign up in the comments below. And also if you're a woman, my Facebook group is open to anybody who identifies as a woman and wants to have these conversations in a safe, intimate place with other women. Right, lovely to speak to you. Talk again soon. Bye now.